In this video, I want to demonstrate the use of the undercut analysis tool for a part such as this one, as it would be used for mold making. So I'm going to select undercut analysis. And then over here, I have to select the direction of poles I would with any mold tool. So I'm going to tell it the direction of poles the top plane. I want to highlight the occluded region. And down here, it'll tell me how many faces are in the different regions. These 184 gray faces, I don't have to worry about. They have no undercut. The direction one undercut tells me what faces which are not visible above the parting line. The direction two undercut tells me which faces are not visible below the parting line. And the occluded undercut shows me faces that are not visible from above or below the parting line. And then the straddle undercut will show me faces that have undercuts in both directions. If I were to turn on the adjustment triad, the adjustment triad allows me to manipulate the direction of pull. This will help me visualize ways to avoid or minimize the undercut regions. And I can drag it around or manipulate it and everything will be updated in real time. For now, I'm just going to turn it off. And if I rotate the part around, we can better see where the problem areas will be. So the occluded undercuts are shown here in red. And the straddle undercuts may be difficult to see. So I'm going to go to the all-seeing eye and I'm going to tell them to hide that. And as soon as I do, you'll notice how the part has changed. And this face has disappeared as well as this face. So I'll turn it back on and we'll see them return. So if you're having difficulty seeing one area or the other, you can turn its visibility on and off to make it easier to see what's happening. I'm just going to accept that and go back to the isometric view. And this highlighted colored analysis will stay there until I come up here and I turn it off.